Grab a cup, a cup, and join me on my little talk. Story time. Story time. It's never boring. All right. Okay. So there's a couple of things I wanted to talk about. Dating or not dating. Um, relationships with men. Relationships with family. Um... And musical mischief. <laughs> All right. So, <clears throat> also update on my mother and father in Arizona, who I just spoke with. Uh, I called my, my parents this morning, and my mother answered, and I was two hours ahead of her. So, it was still morning for her, and I had a client that came at 12, so it was... 10 o'clock her time. I call her right before then. So I got off the phone by a quarter till. Um, and things are worse than I thought. You know, if anyone knows, my, my mother is a narcissist. Um, she's now getting residual benefits from me because what they need are control, supply, um, character trait character traits and residual benefits. That's explained in another video, what narcissists need. That's just a summarization su summary. Um, so she's receiving residual benefits from me, but ultimately if I were to actually stay and be with her, uh, she would turn on me like a Wolverine. Like ultimately it's like petting a grizzly bear that you think is euthanized or excuse me, tranquilized. <laughs> No, that was not a Freudian slip. No. Is the I was thinking of under anesthesia. And then you look at the association of words and it will fill in the blank. But a Freudian slip is nothing more than something that looks like a slip and it has penis envy written all over it, which is stupid. Because nobody has penis envy. I'm, I'm a chick. I mean, the last thing I ever had was penis envy. In fact, penis has scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> I actually was afraid of penises. They freaked me out. Ah, the first time I saw some balls, it was on Paul de Jong. Yeah, and Silver Lake, Hollis, New Hampshire. Look it up. Look up Silver Lake State Park. So we called it Silver Sewer, but... Um, I was so used to the pristine waters of Rocky Pond, but uh, we all were sitting on the beach and we were in, uh, what were we? In intermediate swimmers. We were in swimmers, which is like there's beginners, advanced beginners, um, intermediate, and then swimmers, or that could be advanced intermediate, and then swimmers. And swimmers was the ultimate and beyond that, you had the um, the lifeguarding, which was the ultimate, ultimate. If you wanted to be a lifeguard, which was what I did, and I got on the swim team later, huh, only because I knew how to swim. But really, track was my thing. Um, but I was mis mismanaged. Being the invisible child, it didn't matter that I was actually number one in the 200 meter. Back then, it was 220 yards for my class, M, out of SM. Small, medium, and large. I was in middle, okay, and we. Uh, I won the two hundred twenty yard dash. And time only. And there's a story there. Um, the girl that won, I easily beat three times in, in meets. So it wasn't like I couldn't beat her. Uh, it's just that I chose to run the one hundred. And there was some dirt on the track and I slipped. And then after I finished racing, a man came out and he brushed it off with one of those stiff brushes, like a broom, a little hand broom. And I was like, oh, because the lanes are assigned. So nasty stuff happens. And then his girl won. Nasty stuff happens on all levels, folks. But... Uh, that was then, and this is now, and uh, dating. Okay, Whew. so I'll tell you more about my mom, but long story short, I am confident 
that I will be aware of what to do when the time comes to do something. But for now, there's nothing to do but maintain a respectful distance as my mother and father figure it out. Okay? I'm on their side. My mom was very coherent and I asked her, it was a request, um, be kind to dad. He's 92. And she reiterated she wanted a divorce and I said, well, when you need help moving, let me know. Meaning you both are going to move or you're going to stay. You have to make those decisions. You need help with assisted living, but yet, you know, we have a nurse service. You have to keep it very simple. I didn't go into these details with my mother. You don't do that. You keep it very basic and you listen. But these are the questions I have. Did they run off the maid on Monday? It's not really maid, but I said, it's, it's your service. You paid for it. They're coming to cook and clean and vacuum, but not deep clean, mind you. Just, you know, the bathroom, the shower, the, the kitchen, the refrigerator, so you don't let food die in there. You know, stuff like that. Very practical. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Excuse me. I found out some upsetting things as well. It has to do with my sisters, which I'm not going to go into. I don't know if my other videos revealed the way my sisters handled this. 